Hi there everyone, this is Alan Lepofsky from Constellation Research and I want to do a quick demo video and uh, analysis of the new Office 365 connectors for groups. What we have here on the left is a, a sample of Office 365 groups. You can see over here on the left, I'm in Outlook and over here are my regular Outlook folders and the groups are down here. So I'm in a group called Analyst Team. I'm going to uh, just move this over so that uh, there's more room on the screen. But inside the group, you can see I have conversations, calendar, files, notebook, and a new tab here called connectors. On the right-hand side of my screen, I have Wonderlist, a task management tool that uh, Microsoft acquired last year. It's something I've been using for many years, and Microsoft actually acquired them last year. And I'm going to show how you can integrate from Wonderlist right into a Outlook Office 365 group. So I'm going to click up here on Connectors, and it's going to pull up a list of all the possible connectors. I think Microsoft is shipping with over 50 connectors from the first day they ship. So you can scroll through here, things you can see like Asana and Bing Search and all sorts of things. I'm going to scroll down quickly to the bottom, W, why don't you see Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, but I want to get to uh, Wonderlist. As you can see, lots of things here, user voice and Twitter. There's Wonderlist. I'm going to click Add. And I'm already logged into Wonderlist, as you can see on the right. So it didn't ask me to log in and authenticate, but the first time you do it, it will do that. Uh, which account do you want to use? I'm, I'm using my personal. I'm going to click here and say which list or which group or list from, from Wonderlist do you want to have connected to this group? So you can see here this list on this drop down matches this list here on the left hand side of Wonderlist. So I have a group called Constellation. I'm going to choose Constellation over here. <laughs> And what do you want? So newly created tasks, tasks that are assigned, tasks that are commented on, completed. You know, let's just do them all for now. And I'm going to hit save. And then what we're going to do, we're going to see that Wonderlist is now connected to this Office 365 group. I'll uh, jump back over to here. New activity, let me click on that. Wonderlist is now connected to the analyst team, so you can see it's even told you about that. So let's go over here. I'm in this group, and I'm going to say, you know, get ready, oh, get ready for meeting. Hit enter. Uh, let me go into here. I'm going to, you know, maybe I can um, give it a due date. Let's say next week. Done. You can add subtasks and all sorts of things. Uh, I could assign it to people. I'm just going to, uh, you know, testing, da 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 da. And if we go over here, look, new activity, we can see that Alan Lepofsky created a Wonderlist task. So I can click and I can view it in Wonderlist, or I can come over here and I can, you know, reply to people directly inside this conversation. Great. Let me know how I can help. And you can see here that you know now we're having a discussion around this task that came in from Wonderlist. And if it was marked, uh, you know, I can come in here, let me mark it completed, and we'll wait a second, and you know, you'll see that we'll get a, a notification that this is marked completed, new activity, da 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 task mark completed. So obviously not showing a great business case here, but imagine assigning tasks for uh, sales and marketing and engineering and all sorts of things, doing them over in Wonderlist and having them appear directly in your Office 365 group where you can have conversations. Um, so again, this is Alan Lepofsky discussing Microsoft Office 365 connectors for groups and uh, showing you how you can easily pipe information from different tools, 50 some odd different tools, directly into Office 365 groups.